Good morning. You can probably guess what time it is since I start these vlogs at the same time pretty much every day because I am up because I sleep during the day and, and then I'm up at night. I am just all so confused. My boyfriend works nights so he sleeps during the day so I'm on his schedule. So when he switches jobs I'm going to have to switch my sleep schedule then too. But anyway, good morning. <laughs> Um, I have everything packed to go downstairs in my bag. I'm bringing my heating pad with me because my stomach has been hurting since yesterday and the heating pad helps it. And there's a plug right by where I sit so I can charge my phone and use my heating pad at the same time while I'm reading. Right now I am just making my green ginger tea with some sweetener and honey. I already filled up my water bottle. So I have everything ready to go downstairs and read for a while and then talk to my friends. And then I have to head to therapy today and see my case manager today. And then I gotta stop at the bank and deposit some money. And I'm gonna have some meds to pick up probably Friday. So I will be picking up meds on Friday, which is a good thing because I get paid then. So yeah, who likes my headband? Oh, the chain link, it's so cool, isn't it? Okay, so the outfit today is this blue sweatshirt and it has a little gray shirt long sleeve shirt and it's see warm these fun leggings and my knitted boots so that is the outfit for today and i'm gonna go make sure the tea kettle doesn't hiss too much and i don't know go all over the place and then i'm gonna go downstairs and read so yes i hope i get some good reading in and get some few chapters in and hopefully get closer to finishing this book so I will see you guys later. Hey guys, so I found out on one of my Facebook support groups for Grasco Paresis that they are doing a worldwide research study for it and to call the number to see if you qualify. So I called the number this morning and I do qualify for it. So I have to wait like a week or two and the people from the actual study will contact me and give me more information and I can, I, I can answer any questions that I have as well because I want to know if I have to travel anywhere or if it's just going to be all done from home and stuff like that because if travel is involved it's going to be kind of hard I already travel enough as it is when I have to go to Philly for my gastroparesis appointments for there but it's for a new drug for nausea so we will see what happens with that but it's exciting that like they're actually doing studies and actually trying to find out more things about gastroparesis because they need to find out more things. They need to find a way to help us better and cure us and more people need to be informed of it and know about it and not just like a select few doctors that understand all about it because that's just not fair to us, to the people that suffer from it. So uh, when I get any more info, I'll let you guys know and I'll keep you updated. But right now I'm just going on a little walk to my car to my boyfriend's house because I have to go to therapy this morning and then I'm the case manager afterwards and then I'm going to Walmart to stock up on smoothie supplies because even if I eat anything soft I get the most horrible 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 stomach pains that I just can't do it anymore so I'm gonna get lots of lots, lots of healthy smoothie stuff and I'm just gonna drink smoothies I already have I have two cans of Ensure powder, one vanilla, one chocolate. I have a small container of soy vanilla po protein and a bigger container of soy chocolate protein because I can't have whey because I'm gluten intolerant, so I have to do it that way. But I hope therapy is a good session. I kind of want to talk to her about a few things. Um, but I did block the LOL cow website for my phone so I can no longer look at it so if they want to talk about me they can talk about me I don't care anymore um so yeah they're just a bunch of people hiding behind a screen making fun of people that are sick because they want to make themselves feel better so I'm not letting them get to me anymore so I don't need that so I'm gonna put my gloves on because my hands are cold and I'm gonna finish my walk and get to therapy and I will talk to you guys after and everything Hey guys, so I am just so worn out and tired today has just felt so long and it's only what a little afternoon or something and I am just ready <coughs> sorry, ready for bed. But um 
I had a very, very, very good therapy session today. Um, we talked about a lot of things and we worked things out and I'm feeling much better about everything. So it was a great session and I'm at my case manager and we just went over my budget. And that was all and I'm seeing both of them again next Thursday like I always do. And then I had to go to the grocery store. I went to Walmart and I stocked up on a bunch of smoothie supplies. Uh, I love the V8 Splash Strawberry Banana Smoothie Drink, so I got like 11 bottles of those. They were only $1.84. That is like an amazing, amazing price. So I got 11 bottles of them, and that's all they had on the shelf, so I cleaned out the shelf. <laughs> oh, well. I got a whole bunch of frozen fruit and some peanut butter um, for protein, even though I hate peanut butter with, like, a passion, my therapist talked me into getting peanut butter to put in my smoothies. But I got everything I needed. I even got a little chocolate-covered bananas and chocolate-covered strawberries. They're frozen as just a little snack here and there, um, to go in between my smoothies, so hopefully they taste wonderful. And, yes, I managed to lock myself out of my apartment. I grabbed the wrong keys, closed the door, got to the elevator, and realized I had my car keys, not the elevator key. Not the, I mean, not the elevator key, not my apartment keys. Sorry, the phone rang and cut me off. So, like I was saying, I locked myself out of my apartment, and I realized that once I got to the elevator, I had my car keys, not my apartment keys. So, I didn't have my phone either, because my phone was locked in the apartment with all my other stuff. So I had to go downstairs to the community room and ask one of the girls, one of the ladies, to use um, their phone to call housing for they can send maintenance over to let me back into my apartment. So I did that and they're like, make sure you wait by the door because if you're not by the door, they won't wait. They'll just leave and you'll be locked out. And the only good thing about being locked out during office hours is they only charge you like $2 if they charge you any. But if you lock yourself out during non-office hours and they have to come then, it's like $50 for the first time. And then $100 for the second time. Yeah, they are not cheap. But anyway, I just sat on the floor for a good like 10 minutes waiting for them to come. But the nice guy came. Let me back into my apartment. So we'll find out if I get charged or not in the next couple days. We'll see what happens. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, Temple called because um they my surgeon dr petrov wanted another follow-up visit with me to make sure everything was still doing okay um I, from the last one he went at two to three months so they called left me a message for um i still go march 16th at 10 45 or 10 30 one of those times to see him so then they called Letty, which is Dr. Spartman's secretary, and he, she does all the scheduling. And I'm, I called her, and I asked if I can get it on the same day, if I could just make one trip up to Philly and get it all done with, because it's like a two-hour ride with traffic, and it just sucks ass. So I could either do like at 8 o'clock and then wait around until 10.45, or do an 11 o'clock, or 11.20, one of those, and just go from apartment from one appointment to another appointment. So I did the one appointment to another appointment. I did the 10, sorry, 10 something to 11. I don't know, hold on, let me look it up for you guys. Hold on, I gotta grab my planner. Planner, okay, let me get to March. March, March, March. Okay, yes, yeah, so I see Dr. Petrov, which is the surgeon at 1045, sorry. Then I see Dr. Parkman, which is my normal motility specialist doctor for my gastroparesis at 11.20. And that's a Friday, so that works out. So as long as the boyfriend doesn't change his schedule or anything, he should be able to take me. If not, my dad will take me because I refuse to drive in the city. It's just way, way, way too scary, too busy. You have to be, like, insanely aggressive. And I can drive, and I'm a really good driver, but I'm just not that aggressive. So, yeah. So I have to go bring the car back to my wife and south because he needs it and walk back. And then I'm going to relax, read, watch Gilma Girls or Vampire Diaries or something like that. I'm not quite sure. But I will see you guys later and I'll fill you guys in on more that's going on today. If anything else interesting happens. Hey guys, so I just like slept all day. Like that's literally all day. I literally just woke up. Hmm. 
guess going to therapy and meeting my case manager and then going food shopping and then unloading everything was just too much for my body to handle and it just crashed and I just slept and slept and slept with me and now that I slept this much I will be up all night which that's not a normal which means but it also means I'll probably be up all day tomorrow and the next day which means I'll probably be pulling a couple of days where I won't sleep since I slept so much now because that is just how my body is but has anybody else heard the gastroparesis research study on the radio? I heard it, and like I said earlier in the blog, I called, and I got I qualified for it. Um, but I'm going to wait to tell my doctor or ask my doctor if it's good to do until I talk to the research people who are actually doing the research and seeing what it's all about first um because if there's like travel and stuff involved i'm not doing it because i can't like travel far or drive into the city or anything like that but it's supposed to help it's supposed to be for a new nausea med so we will see what happens about it like i know a lot of people did qualify for it on the um, guess the priestess support group I'm in, I know some people who didn't qualify for it just because they don't throw up every day, and I don't throw up every day anymore, so I don't know why I qualified for it, and they didn't, I throw up maybe like three times a week now, or a dry heave, three t- or you know what I mean, I'm trying to say, but it's just, it's, it's just weird how they pick people, and how they don't, and all those kind of things, so... But it was nice, I got to hear on the radio, and it's just like, they're actually trying to understand gastroparesis, and they're actually trying to find things to help people who suffer from it feel better, which is such an amazing thing, because so many of us suffer, and nobody will help us, because nobody really understands the disorder, the disease, whatever you want to call it. And there are very few doctors who actually understand it enough to treat you. And, like, I'm lucky that I have one that understands it. My doctor at Temple understands it, and I'm very lucky to have him. And then he knows what he's talking about. He knows the disease. He knows how to treat it. He knows what to try next. So I'm very thankful, and I'm very happy for that. But I know there are other people who don't have that kind of a doctor, and they wouldn't could use some of this relief. So hopefully this new nausea med they're trying does help and it can come out on the market sometime soon and it'll help a whole bunch of people because I know one of my biggest problems is the nausea because I am nauseous every day, practically all day and it doesn't matter if I take all my all my nausea med, my dissolvable Zofran, my Prothazine, my Compazine, I do it them throughout the day. The stimulator isn't helping my nausea. So, I am one of those who is always nauseous. I'm more nauseous than I throw up. So, it's just, but sometimes nausea is worse because you, it gets to the point where you feel like you're going to throw up. But, like, there's, like, nothing in your system anymore. So, you're just sitting there dry heaving and so nauseous that you just can't dig it anymore. So... Yeah, but I hope that helps a lot of people. So I'm just going to end my vlog here for the night and read or watch TV or go back to sleep. I have no idea, but I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And if you like this vlog, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And then I'll put yesterday's vlog in the description for you can watch it if you'd like. And everybody have a wonderful day or night. I'll see you later.